What's up, guys? Mortgage rates are going up. Mortgage applications are going down. Yet the demand and housing prices are still rising. D d do what? When is the right time to buy? Same as the right time to plant a tree. 30 years ago or today? I predicted it in this video that this house would sell in 24 hours. And yes, it did. And yes, even in this market. But it was a deal. And it sparkled. I don't want to sound like Billy Mays. But wait, there's more. But I'm going to tell you, yes, we have other houses just like this one. This is not a unicorn. Want to make a boatload of money? Call one of our agents to get in on that. Harrodsburg has that new university now. They are in desperate need of short-term rentals. Most all of us on the team own commercial real estate. We eat our own cooking. We live, breathe, and sleep real estate. We can help you. Let's take a look at this little cottage that would make a killer Airbnb, a fantastic Verbo, or a great place to put your kid while they're going to Campbellsville University. Oh, and it's affordable. And I put some bloopers in at the end. Hold tight. Hey, hey, hey. It's your big buddy, Brad. I better not do that. It's because you know who does hey, hey, hey. It's bad enough I look like a busted can of biscuits today. Hey, we're in Harrodsburg, and I've got a good one for you today because it's affordable. I haven't been to it. I know where it is. I know the location. It's right across from an elementary school. That's cool. I don't know if you can see much of Harrodsburg. I've showed you Harrodsburg before. There's a lot of stuff going on, especially with Campbellsville University now. Uh, their chamber is very active. They have some great places downtown. Their downtown is, is alive and doing well. The courthouse is there. They've got a cidery and they've got microbreweries and they got all kinds of stuff. They got a 27 hole golf course. It's a Walter Hagen golf course. And of course, all the regular stuff like this, you know, Walmart and Kroger and all that stuff. Did you know that Kroger is the second largest retailer in America and the fifth largest in the world? I had never even heard of it before. You know, I come from the Northeast. We don't have Kroger's up there. They got them down here, buddy. I'm gonna tell you what. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a Kroger. They got to save a lot here. That's kind of fun. All these is right in Danville. Uh, of course, plenty of banks. I guess there's a lot of money in Mercer County. Yeah, there is. And they have a lot of agro agro tourism as well. Harrodsburg's very pretty. It's closer to Lexington. It's about 10, 15 miles closer than where Cindy and I live. Closer to Lexington. You got a beautiful fairgrounds, lots of parks. Anderson Dean Park is <laughs> kicking. I'm just telling you. I'm going to go here on Fairgrounds Road. It seems like it's going to be a little bit easier for me. Anyway, new roof, new HVAC, new appliances, new electrical, new plumbing. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of new stuff in this house. I'm kind of shocked at the price, so you know, you're going to get a good deal. Here's the farm and, and horse show. It's like the oldest farm and whoops. It's like the oldest farm and horse show in America. It's been going on since the 1800s. And it's a big deal. It's pretty fun too. And here's one of the parks here. There's another park right up here for the kids. They've got their own hospital. Harrodsburg's got a hospital. It's called the Hagen Hospital. Hagen is a kind of a name around here. Oh, a lot of history because this is uh, one of the first settlements, actually Boonesboro's James Harrod and Daniel Boone were best buddies. And they came and they blazed a trail through here. They befriended the Indians, then took all their land, basically, end of story. Anyway, but I'm not bitter. <laughs> actually, actually, that's true. Okay, okay, I can't lie. So, but anyway, they, they did, they befriended the Indians. Daniel Boone actually started Boonesboro first. Hold on, I gotta, I'm driving, I'm doing videos, and I'm trying to think of lots of stuff. My tongue, got, my gum got in front of my eye tooth, I couldn't see what I was saying. Daniel Boone started Boonesboro first, then his, then I guess he, then I guess he showed his buddy how to do it, and James Harrod started Harrodsburg. Well, Boonesboro got taken back over, taken back over, is that right? Sounds weird. Taken back over by the Indians, and so he kind of lost it and then he started it back again and i don't know all the history about this the native americans but harrodsburg stayed so it is the oldest official settlement in kentucky 
Dan, uh, are we on it here? Um, Danville likes to call themselves the city of firsts because that's just 10 miles away. They had the first post office and the first, blah, 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 like all these things. But Harrodsburg is actual, an actual older settlement. Now I gotta find this house. They never put the signs up. The signs are not to sell the house. The signs are to help ding dongs find it like me. Okay, I feel like I'm sneaking in here. Like, oh, the house was right there. And then it's like some cop show or something. Then the farm and horse show place is right there. I'm gonna park in the shade because it is hot today. Hotter than a firecracker. Well, buddy, you sure are going with me today. I always say, hey, come along with me today. It's like you're riding with me. Does it feel like that to you too? This is nice, nice touch. Tell that guy to move the thing. We're trying to saw a house here. Look at that, nice. Walk out basement. It's on 0.13 of an acre. I don't know what that really means. I guess 0.1 of an acre is like 4,300 square feet. And then it's got, so I can't let you see the code. It's, it's a secret code. I hate those lock boxes anyway, because you can't show anybody the code, but all somebody has to do is just look at it. Hello, don't shoot, realtor, real estate. I'm not a real a realtor. What am I talking about? Dude. How nice. Like, seriously, you gotta be kidding me. This is super nice. Now it's like stucco here. And, and all this rounded off stuff. This is, looks like Arizona. Look at this, it looks like an adobe kind of look. Look at that. This is something we don't see here very often. Look at that. See how it's rolled over? I mean, you can do that with sheet rock. I get that, but I don't ever see it, ever. And like stucco here too, it's colder than a big dog in here. And you know how big dogs are called? I have no idea why I said that. New windows. Dang on, look at this, painted. It's like really white. It's got wainscoting on the bottom. Nice floor. That doesn't look like it's hippopotamus proof right there. Look at this, you want a rental? What's that, what's the, what do those uh, investors do? The, the bar or whatever, they do the rental? This is all done for you. You don't have to do a thing. Hmm. One bed, two bedrooms, one bath, and a living room. Hey, if your kid's gonna be going here to Campbellsville University, you can buy this and save, save the money and then sell it when you're done or Airbnb it out. They did a great job here. Like, I'm really surprised. Daggone nice. I'll tell you that, new appliances. You know, you start adding up, right? So you ever go to the grocery store and all of a sudden you spend a hundred bucks? You know that deal. And how do you spend a hundred bucks? 99 cents at a time, right? Oh, I bought this, this, and this. And then all of a sudden, whoa, there you are. The cabinets inside could stand a good little cleaning or paint, repainting. Other than that, I wouldn't complain about that because all the other stuff is done for you. That's a real porcelain sink. Got a little paint snot there. I gotta get that off of there. Ah. Things you do for people. Nice, I like it. I'll tell you what, Landon's going to college and we rented him a place well, it's like 650 bucks a month, which isn't too bad, right? Because you figure that's utilities and everything. But the, the uh, payments on this wouldn't even be that much. Payments would be like what? Five, 550 plus utilities. And I can walk around, look at this. Yeah, look at this. I can even walk under here, no problem. Got a new furnace. Oh, huh, new HVAC. Looks like the water heater might be original. Let me see. I have no idea what the deal is with this washing machine. This is an original water heater. Well, not original from when the house was built, but it's, it's an original water heater. But they got all new plumbing. They got the PEX in here. I told you about the PEX. Good stuff. Washer and dryer hookup. That's all new. No brainer. All right, I'm going to take some pictures. And I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'm out of here because 
We'll throw this up and boom, it'll be gone in a blink. You wanna buy or sell real estate, or you wanna just talk about investments, give us a call. We're glad to help you. Been doing it since 1981. We have just a little bit of experience. Just a little bit. Yeah, seriously, look at this. It's all redone. That one's all redone. That one's all redone. That one's done. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. These are all redone. So I don't know who's doing them. If it's people doing them or if it's investors buying them, fixing them up. This one needs to be done something with. It won't be long because everybody else is getting theirs done. And I'm just telling you, it's a decent house. The location's great. You could Airbnb this thing out. And of course, it's right around the corner from Campbellsville University. Seriously, since 1981, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, give us a call. Ken's number's right down there. Call Mimi, call Brett, call Tom. I mean, we got all kinds of agents to uh, get a relationship with, uh, some, somebody you get, get along with, someone who understands you. But most importantly, we've got the experience. Since 1981, there's not too many things we haven't done in real estate. We can help you, we can guide you along, and, uh, and we sure appreciate your business, for sure. If this property isn't right for you, that's all right. Get on the home finder up here. Brandy will call you or Teresa will call you and they'll take your information and then send you properties that meet your criteria. Hey, we really appreciate you. Love y'all. This is not anything but American Sign Language for I Love You. You can look it up. So love y'all. Thank you. Bye. It's hot. They've got a 27 hole golf course. I think we're gonna turn up here. So James Herod, Daniel Boone actually started, yeah, this is it. Uh, okay. So the house is right there. I can't wait to hear your opinions. So comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash home finder to tell us what your ideal property looks like and we'll send it to you. Right, Mojo?